Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be Friday Night Smackdown News number 68. There is not a lot of news, let's just get into it. So the first thing is a six-man tag team match. The Balling Brutes versus Imperium. Yes, if you didn't know, Imperium reformed on... On the Clash at the Castle pay-per-view, they reformed, then they're back together again. But uh, the Brawling Brutes versus Imperium, winners of the six-man tag team match, Imperium. The second thing, WWE does end loving memory for Queen Elizabeth II segment. Yeah, they had a whole segment for that. Uh, I could have done my own dedication, but I really don't dedicate people outside of the United States. And I just really didn't feel like doing it because everybody knew about it already. Um, by the time I found out about it, everybody else found about it. Found out about it. Of course, it's sad. I I feel bad for the country of the United Kingdom, but uh, you know. I, I feel like the country of the United Kingdom is in good hands with the new king of the United Kingdom, Prince Charles. So, that's why I didn't do a dedication, but that's not what this video is about. They just did an In Loving Memory segment really quick. Um, The third thing, Solo Sokola joins the Bloodline, the Bloodline segment. Solo Sokola is the newest member of the Bloodline. Solo Sokola segment interrupted by Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre comes after the Bloodline, makes the Bloodline retreat. The fourth thing is a tag team match. Rodrell Rodriguez and Aaliyah versus Toxic Attraction. Winners of the tag team match, Rodrell Rodriguez and Aaliyah. The fifth thing is a fatal... A fatal five-way elimination match. The winner gets a SmackDown Women's Championship match against Liv Morgan at Extreme Rules. Ronda Rousey late versus Lacey Evans versus Sonya Deville versus Exile Lee versus Natalia. Winner of the fatal five-way match, elimination match, Ronda Rousey. I'm clearly not surprised by this. I'm not surprised. I knew it was going to happen, so... That's it for that. Um, sixth thing, Solo Sokola and the Uso segment. Seventh thing, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler segment. Eighth thing is an eight-man tag team match. Hit Row and the Street Profits versus MMM, a.k.a. Maximum Male Models and Los Lotharios. The winners of the eight-man tag team match. Hit Row and the Street Profits. The ninth thing, Braun Strowman returns to the WWE and Friday Night SmackDown, interrupted by the Alpha Academy, Alpha Academy segment, interrupted by Braun Strowman, and Braun Strowman destroys the Alpha Academy. Uh, tenth thing, interview with Drew McIntyre. Eleventh thing, singles match uh, versus Solo Sokola. Winner of the singles match, uh, Drew McIntyre won by disqualification. And 12th thing, Karrion Cross attacks Drew McIntyre. Um, uh, other than that, um, that's the show. Not a lot happened. I didn't expect a lot to happen because of the, the Clash at the Castle pay-per-view. Now they're going to be starting up new robberies and stuff. So I'm not really that surprised. Um, it looks like they're finally going to do the feud with Drew McIntyre and Karrion Cross, who Roman Reigns will be feuding with. Have no idea. That's something we won't find out. Um, honestly, of what I know, Roman Reigns is not even fighting at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, so he's not facing anybody. But he will be facing somebody at Survivor Series, the next pay-per-view, so... And he will be fighting at the next Crown Jewel event, or what I heard. Um, also, the Fatal 4-Way uh, tag team contendership match that happened on Monday Night Raw. 
Uh, they're going to be redoing that on next week's Friday Night Smackdown. So that's some good news. Um, Other than that, that's the show. That's uh, Friday Night Smackdown news number 68. And if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, period.